Hello and welcome back to another smashing episode of No Sense for Nonsense. Today we're going to talk about Taken 3. First I'd like to say that Liam Neeson, the main actor in this movie, looks amazing for his age. He is 62 years old and he looks as healthy and youthful compared to a 40 year old. Pity I can't say the same thing about some people who are in their 20s. Now, Taken 3 is a story about Brian Mills, an ex-secret operative, who is accused of murder of a loved one framed of a crime he did not commit. Sounds familiar, no? And he sets out to find these criminals while being chased by the local authorities. Taken 3, compared to its predecessors, is more emotional, not darker, but emotional. Brian Mills is alone, he's not married, he's still overprotective of his daughter, and in the opening sequence of this movie, you kind of feel very sad for him. And then the action begins. Mr. Mills commences his ass kicking. The action scenes weren't too bad in this movie, but the thing I didn't like was the editing. The editing was all over the place. It was by far too fluid for my taste. I mean, if my videos were edited like this and changed shot every second, you would go mad. The creators of this movie should have known that long shots work too, you know. There were a few moments during a car chase or an explosion where I said to myself, Brian Mills is dead. He's dead. There's no way he could have survived that. No way in hell he could have survived that explosion. It's kind of like this. Don't worry, don't worry, just an explosion. A little bit of a scratch, but don't worry about it. I took my Chuck Norris injection this morning, so nothing can happen to me. I know as a spectator of a film, you're supposed to tell yourself, this is fiction, it's not real. You're supposed to allow yourself to accept certain situations in a movie, but sometimes it still has to make sense. Something I liked in this movie, though, is that Taken 3 was different story-wise compared to Taken 1 and 2. Taken 2 was just a repeat, a continuation of Taken 1. Here Taken 3 is almost a completely different story. It tries to break free from its predecessors. Another thing that bothered me were the local authorities in this movie who were so average. Just your random local cops who are charged to catch this exceptional secret agent. Throughout the movie, they're always two or three steps behind, but I mean always really far behind. You get the feeling that Brian Mills is not really challenged, and you're under the impression that it's just a walk in the park for him compared to the first two movies. Compared to the movie The Fugitive, US Marshal Gerard was so exceptional, he was the police officer, but in this movie, as I said, the local authorities are very average. This movie did do something that I did like. Was it forced you to ask questions? Something happens. Why did this happen? Why did they frame Brian Mills? And you have to wait to get an answer to these questions. But Taken 3 did not have that sinister feel that you felt in Taken 1. Remember from the first movie? If you let my daughter go now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. You did not have that feel in this movie. That sentiment where if you take my daughter, who I love so much, I'm going to get you, I'm going to find you. I know Liam Neeson has gotten some shtick about playing these action type roles, the three Taken movies and Nonstop, which is a very good movie by the way, you need to see Nonstop. He mustn't pull a Johnny Depp who keeps playing these weird ass roles. But in the end, Taken 3 is your random standard action movie and I will give it a simple thumbs up. Yes, it is. So listeners, did you like this movie? What did you think about it? Which has been your favorite Taken movie? And which is your favorite action movie? So listen, thank you. So until next time, get out the